And now it's time for our final arts and culture segment of the week with our very own Iteho, and he joins us live in the studio. Good afternoon, to Iteho. Good afternoon. So um, the weekend is coming up, and all of us were looking forward to do something over the weekend, something meaningful. And I hear you want to tell us about an amazing exhibition. I do. Well, I had heard that the works of Picasso had been flown in from Malaga, Spain, so I definitely had to check it out myself. But this was an exhibition that was. Maybe not familiar for many of Picasso's typical fans. Let's go ahead and check it out. The Seoul Art Center is home to some of the most amazing cultural works in all of Korea, and starting this week, it is home to some 200 pieces of artwork from Spanish painter Pablo Picasso. His paintings are among the most renowned and expensive works of art in the world. His nude green leaves and bust sold for 106.5 million U.S. dollars in 2010 at an auction that took a mere eight minutes. And his work Boy with a Pipe sold for 104.3 million U.S. dollars in 2004. He was a legendary artist, there's no doubt about it. But who was he really as a person? Well, one thing is for sure, he was very passionate about his work. Most of us know Picasso as a famous painter, but he was a man of many talents. In addition to his paintings, he created sculptures, ceramics, and engravings. And now we here in Seoul are privileged to be able to experience these masterpieces at the exhibition, Picasso de Malaga, Picasso Absoluto. I had a wonderful chance to speak with the exhibition manager, who told me what differentiates this exhibit from past exhibitions about the legendary artist. Many of Picasso's works from his Cubist period have been shown, but the biggest difference with this exhibition is that many of his hand-drawn illustrations have been included, as well as the original books in which they were published. In addition, this exhibition also features photos of Picasso's later years that help us to better understand those works. The exhibition is split into four sections, and the first was about the inspirational women in Picasso's life. These pieces behind me are of Jacqueline Roque, often regarded as one of Picasso's most powerful sources of inspiration. The second section featured Picasso's works about human nature. Section 3, which shows Picasso's still lifes and fauna, is where I started to see works that are not generally associated with Picasso. I was not alone in noticing the differences between the artwork shown in this exhibition and the artist's more widely known works. We can see Picasso's works in the media or in books, but to see some of the works by him that aren't often seen, collected and presented in this manner, was a great opportunity. We can see his works reflect his ability to see the world as only he could and that he doesn't have the perception of an ordinary person. We only see what we see. But what amazing people see is truly amazing. One person's face seems like the face of two people, and the person may seem to be looking forward, while also appearing to be looking sideways as well. The latter portion of the exhibition is filled with sculptures and ceramics that were also a large part of his artistry. Among the 226 pieces of artwork on display, there were also many illustrations, sketches, and drawings. But it was the fourth section of the exhibition that was the most interesting for me. It consisted of photos of Picasso himself. It shows who he was as a person and how he spent his time outside of the studio. Through the pictures, some of which were shot by his wife, Jacqueline Roque, we see the kind of life he had. The rest of the exhibit shows off some of his most exquisite works from his later years beyond Cubism. But this is more than just an art exhibition. It had the feel of a story unfolding through the artwork about the life of the man, the myth, the legend, Pablo Picasso, the artist. Uh, well, that's a really uh, unique and special exhibition. And um, really, uh, for us to enjoy that here in Seoul, that's a privilege. It really is. And it's because the way the artwork presented the story of his life, I came away feeling like I had really met the legend himself. Right. I mean, he is the, um, you know, one of the, uh, the greatest artistic talents of the 20th century. And even 40 years after uh, his death, it doesn't seem like it's waning off. I mean, we could see the, um, the liveness and the creativity in his works uh, even now. Yes, exactly. Uh, it, the, 
exhibit really came alive because of the energy and the security and consistency that he felt in his life. And I really got to experience that through the photos that I saw and then relate that back to his work. So um, how many pieces were actually flown here? To well, actually Korea? there were... 226 pieces flown in from Malaga, Spain, and this was done through the Picasso Foundation, and this was the most ever lent out for an exhibition, so it is a massive exhibition. Right, and um, I, I think this is a, a partnership between Incheon, uh, Korea, and mm -hmm. uh, Malaga, Spain, and through that cooperation, we were able to bring this exhibit here, right? Exactly. All right, well, thank you, Teo. It seems like a wonderful way for us to uh, spend the weekend with family and friends uh, to go check out Pablo Picasso. Exactly. Exactly. All right, thank you, and we'll see you on Monday.